than I am. Eric Allen you know? has a common name, a master's degree, and a resume that boasts years of experience as a facilities manager. Still, he often finds tension when he walks into a job interview. As soon as they look at me, you know, the eyes get wide, you know, and, um, and you know, the, the, I feel like the interview is cut short. How long did it take you to get here? Tell me a little about yourself. What would your last manager say about you? Okay, thank you for coming through. Alan is one of millions of African Americans who lost jobs in 2008, and with blacks getting rehired at a slower rate than whites, many are thinking about altering or whitening their resumes to increase their odds. Financial services recruiter Michael Robinson says candidates can be safe with resumes that reflect less on themselves and more on the culture of their target company. People hire people whom they like and people hire people whom they are able to identify with. So you come in the door with a resume that reflects as much as possible that corporate culture, chances are that you have a greater chance of being hired. His advice, make the resume color neutral. Replace African sounding first names with initials. Instead of listing historically black colleges, use only the majors and graduation years. And stick to basics name, address, objective, background. But corporate HR veteran Valerie Burrett does not agree with this concept. As we know, recruiters tend to hire in their own image. It is incumbent upon the candidate to show the recruiter how they best fit the job despite their differences or because of their differences. She says smart companies celebrate diversity and she warns that people still need to work in an environment where they fit in culturally and philosophically. Today, Eric Allen feels that being himself made for a good interview, but he knows that in this brutal job market, a higher power can't hurt his chances. I try to be optimistic, you know, keep a good spirit, you know, hang on to what I'm, what I'm working on now. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, just gotta pray on it. In New York, Sherry Ann DeLeon, Our News Now.